we're back. It's been a little while since the last Mordheim vid, but whenever there's a notable gap in uploads for the channel, you can be damn sure it's because I'm busy working on another cinematic battle report. But we're back, and today's match sees Simo Skaven of Clan Pestilence square off against Barra's Cult of the Possessed. This session's randomly generated scenario is everybody's fave, the classic Weirdstone hunt. Especially if your warband has a movement of five or more, with the sprint skill. Am I right, Simo? Huh? Am I right? So, if you've been following the campaign from the start, you'll know we make use of a bunch of house rules, many of which have been highlighted already. Some of you good viewers have even posted the house rules you guys use in your own campaigns. I'm keen to see more. So, if you have any you'd like to see possibly incorporated into this campaign, by all means, pop your suggestions in the comments. I'm going to take this opportunity to extend the beggar's bowl and ask those of you with a generous heart to help support the channel by signing up as a producer. Super thanks is also an option if you're not big on monthly subscriptions. Patreon link in the description and end screen. Once all the buildings, bits and bobs have been plonked on the tabletop, we generate D3 plus 1 weirdstone shards and distribute them on the battlefield. This time we got four of the filthy shards placed like so. I wonder, which of the warbands will make off with them all? Hmm, hmm. And as ever we've got the setup so the Cultimate Warriors set up like so. While on the opposite side of the table Blist Rot's Plague Pack set up like so. So. Now that everything's in place, we can start the battle proper with Blistrot's bum rushes winning the roll to go first. Enjoy! Now we have Grovel, who has the lovely skill Sprint. and. Movement of five. It's gonna run through, end up there. Got it. Do you want me to keep the weird stone with them as they move? If you want, or you could just put it on the character sheet. That works for me. Of the guy that's picked it up. Yep, so Grovel and Grot both got one. Cool. So he sprints up, grabs it. Yoink. Still got an inch of movement left. Wow. That's runt. Um, you know what? Back over here. Nice. And that's everyone? Yep, that's everybody. Alright, on to the possessed. Back to the Skaven, this little wiener, what's his name? This fella is Runt. So Runt's just gonna grab and lash. Yoink. Grovel again, he's having a good time. Mm. Party at Grovel's house. Look at that. He's got all the rock. Holy <laughs> You literally did yeah. yoink all the rock. Yeah. <laughs> Straight away. Straight away. And then he gets all the way back to like there. Let's put him there. Yeah. So these guys are going to move along up here. Basically to just get a better shot. They all have slings. And then Garot is going to pull back. So yeah, that's it. That's it for me. All right, back to the possessed. So Skaven once more. Oh, 
Hiding behind the tower. Hiding behind the tower. That's all the movement? That's all the movement. Back to the possessed. All right, that's it. Okay, so first things first, this guy is gonna get the hell away from all that business. I'm gonna do some moving and shooting. No, no charges were declared, now it's shooting. Now it's shooting. Blistrot, shooting one shot. So shooting that blue guy through purple guy. Oh yeah, so you're going for the meta gamey. The meta gamey. <laughs> He's got a ballistic skill of four. Yep. He moved. Yep. He's got cover. So um, that becomes long range. This is over nine. So it starts at three, right? Yeah, so we're looking four. at a six. Yeah, so yep, that's a six. Yep. And if you get a five, then it potentially hits purple guy. Okay, so roll again. So now you roll as if you were attacking the purple guy. So it'll still be... It'll be a five. Because it's not... Because it just cover. doesn't have cover, yep. No. Okay. Lucky. Yep. Next guy along is Physic. He's got ballistic skill three plus one. Okay, so he's got ballistic skill four too. That's what his level up was about. So... Ballistic skill four. Same again. Move. Cover. Yep. Long range. So six or a five. So no, neither. Nothing. And this guy on the end, move, long range, ballistic skill three. Yep. So he's looking at six, six as well. Six plus, isn't he? Well, it starts at four. So he's ballistic skill three. Yeah, so that's it starts four. Starts at four. Yeah. Move, long range, cover. Oh, cover as well. Yeah, okay, well so then, six yeah. Six plus four. Easy peasy. That's it. Back to the possessed, and Barry's gonna continue running his possessed up that tower so he can finally get his tentacles on those furry little bastards. Oh no, his arm fell off. Yeah. That's fine. Surgery after the match. Yeah, just leave it off. Announcing charges. Announcing charges. The raddies are all gonna try and charge up here and yes. charge into those guys. I reckon I can maybe get three in there. Three? Um, if the gods have space would help me out but probably not but like technically one could fit in there because yeah, remember you have to go the direct way <coughs> yeah well the first guy so is going to come in and stop the there. first one will go there then the next one can pass through and go, go there. there i don't think but like get... positioning like maybe two but that would be unlikely their bases are too big man the tails are too big they're gonna fall yeah so Basically, we can discount this first one from being able to see anything. Yeah. They're all identical, so it doesn't matter anymore. Anyway. Exactly. So I'm just going to move them from the back. This guy up there. Yeah, bases are too big. And this one up here, because the other ones are just moving behind. Careful. <laughs> starter, starter. This dude's hanging off. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrifying. The other guy's hanging off too. Yeah. Jesus Anyways, like it looks cool, but it's in. the absolute worst place to have a fight. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. I'm going to do some more movement after that, um, and I'm not going to be. Okay, so that's charges? That's charges. I probably won't even do any more shooting after that either.
Alrighty, so that is me done. So hand to hand, we've got the rats that have initiated the charge. So I'll just do one at a time. They got weapon skill two versus weapon skill for the guy with the hammer. So weapon skill two versus weapon skill two, is that? That's still four plus. Four plus. Yep. Cool, so we're looking for a four plus to hit. No. Second rat, also four plus to hit. That's a hit. And the same dude. Same dude. Yep. <coughs> Strength three. Toughness three. Toughness three. Yep, so four plus again. Four plus. No. Uh, Classic. Alrighty, now it's your turn to attack the rats back. Four plus. Hey, that's a hit. That's a hit. So I'm attacking uh, this one. That one? Yeah, yep. cool. Makes sense. So, hey. <laughs> oh. nah, after all that, I want you to kill him too. Sure like three, five, <laughs> three fives. Three fives. I saw them it's, all. It's always like, the oh. way. Same thing happened against yeah. Prawn. Any six is always cocked, and the then other. you re-roll it to one. Anyway, the other so week. that was the first round of combat. That was it. Now yeah. it's your turn, Barra. All right, possessed. So now it's charges. Octopustule will charge. I guess this guy here. Yep. So that's going to be a diving charge? Yep. <laughs> Actually, no, he'll dive this one. Crab Salute will dive on this one. Wait a minute. This guy? How's he going to reach him? Or did you mean that guy? No, I mean, like, because he... Oh, okay, well, I guess, yeah, he'll... There's no way to land here. Oh, there's no way there. All okay, right. so he'll land here and attack this guy. I guess this guy will just land here and, yeah, probably do what you were saying. Actually, yeah, I'll... That's going to be a lot of rolls, you realise. Yeah. Uh, I'll charge <laughs> this guy, he's the closest. Yeah. With crab salute. Mm hmm. And then. So you can jump. This guy will. I guess they're already intact, so he will attack him. I'm going to use. Try to use his magical spell to. Oh, yeah, sick. Get that rat. Yep. So that'll be two checks you got to do. Initiative okay. checks, because every two inches you One fall. Die. So, um. So he's got initiative four. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So if you get four or less, you're fine. Yeah, so just with roll. One die. Yeah. With one die, Barry. Oh, with one die. With one die. Four. No, it's one roll for each two inches he drops. Yeah, so that was one. So the first inch was fine. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice one. Shoot one with the first two. <laughs> yeah. Keep your mouth closed. Yeah. So, oh. so just put him here for you? Yeah. Oh my god, his arm though. Off. Well, that guy's gonna fall anyway. So here you go. I put him there. So now make the check with uh, Crab Tastic. Yeah, he, 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 he's got a nervous condition, so his um, initiative's down by one. So he's got initiative three. Hold up. So well, he the first one. Well, you rolled one. So just so you know, watching at home, Barra rolled a one off camera. So we'll count that. Yeah. Well, it, that, it is to do two checks. So yeah, and then so rolled a five. One. And then, okay, then the second one you failed. Yeah. yeah. So I just like splat here or something. Yeah, pretty much. But then because you land there, you have to make another check or you just keep <laughs> kind of simpering down. Yep, sick. So what, what, it's like, it's, D, it's like the distance, strength. So it's D3 hits at strength, the distance in inches. So that's like three. So roll D3. So that's one hit. So toughness four for Crab Salute. Yep, so he's fine. And now roll another initiative check because he landed on the edge of a platform. So he fails that. So he falls another three inches. <laughs> Classic. He's gonna be fine too, it's great. Yeah, so D3, so two hits at strength three. So uh, that's one hit. No, no, your toughness four, right? No, his toughness three. Oh, no, yeah. no, no, toughness four, his initiative three. Yeah, so that's fine, you need a five to hurt him. No, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. As, as, as Simo... So, 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 as this is one thing we're talking about with Sean, actually, is there's no ruling as to where he falls, so you can choose whether he falls that side or this side at the mercy of the rat, man. I'm guessing it's going to be that oh, side, right? Yeah. yeah. Is he even But I'm broke? standing? Like, am I, or am I... Because he didn't take any wounds. Yeah, that's true. So I think he just lands on his feet. Going, ah. Yeah, but that ends your movement. Yeah. 
Well, you got. Um, yeah, that's. Oh, that's not charging there, is it? I literally brushed it. I know. It's so sketchy. Oh, God. I. Me, look at that. Yeah, it's I think that's blue tacking. Ah, uh, the rats aren't going to be there very long. Don't worry about it. <sighs> okay, so where were we? Um, so they're all my charges, and now it's just. So now it's regular turn. movement. Yeah. So continuing on the movement for the possessed, go for it. Sketchiest conga line I've ever seen. Yeah. It's not because of the sketchy. No, this is definitely, I've never seen anything like this before because people tend to avoid this scenario. Yeah. So Barrier is going to cast with his cult Lore leader. Law of Chaos, I need nine. Law of Chaos, needing a nine plus. Yeah, you beauty. That cool. almost never goes off. Okay, yeah, so now what you do, fine. so add your. Well, roll the d6 again and add your leadership. So that should be what, 10? Um, yeah, 10. 9, 10. 10. Okay, so now the rat has to be 10. So roll a d6 and add its leadership. Can he literally beat it? <laughs> I don't know if he can. I think it's 4. I think I have to get a 6 to. So it to is beat it. possible. Let me just double check. Yep, leadership of 4. I've got to get it. 6. Six is that? Uh, that's a go here. No. So oh, that's a two. Let's see. Bugger. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Um. Uh, all right. Well, just off camera, we've had a catastrophe. Uh, in my old age, my arms are, and hands are unsteady, and I accidentally knocked over literally everything. So we've had to salvage everything. But anyway, what happened was uh, Pope Pestilence cast his spell, won the uh, leadership challenge, and basically made this little rat move an inch back yep. to disengage from combat. So he will retain control of that rat until it makes a psychology test at the beginning of each turn. And that's where we left off before everything collapsed. Do the charges first. So we'll do Octopastral against yep. the rat. Just giant, one giant rat? Yeah, just one, I guess. Right, jump um, in there. Get him. Kill him. So three plus. Oh, he's got possessed. two arms. Exactly. Oh. That's one hit. One hit. Six. That was a diving charge. So yeah. you get plus one to hit, but the other one was like a one or a two anyway, it was wasn't it? Okay, so that hit also then. So, yeah, cool. So, so that's two, two hits. Two and hits. now you get plus one to strength. So it'd be like two plus, right? Yeah. Yep. Two, two wounds. wounds. Cool. Let's have a crack. Let's see if he's the first ratty down. Mm, you kind of want this to fail. Yeah, I want him to die. <laughs> yeah, hey, he's gone. Double right. dead. The <laughs> problem with these guys is their big curly tails. Yeah, I know, and they just catch everything. Yeah, let's just roll out. It's like roll out. Roll out. It's like Janker. 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 Yeah, back to the dark soul and the unpossessed rat. So it's down to initiative. I'm guessing the rat will go first. Rat is four? Four, yeah. And the Dark Souls, I, I presume think, it's like three. two or three. Um, three. Yeah. Sweet. Rat, so first. rat first. Attack rat. Attack rat. Attack rat. Attack rat. So, ballistic, uh, weapon skill two versus weapon skill... It's four plus. It'd be four plus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Hey. I need that. Um, and toughness three, right? Strength three, toughness three, so four plus. So four plus. Three. No. Oh, man. Oh, good. Kill the rat. And then he fights back. Oh, wait. He's got a two-handed weapon, so he goes last no matter what, anyway. Is it two-handed? Yeah, because it's not the flail. He's got the axe. It just says axe. Oh, right. So you didn't get the double-handed version. No, I just, that's all I Okay. Well, in that case, everything's good then. Oh, everything so, four plus anyway. to hit. Nope. <sighs> and that's it. God damn it. Back to the Skaven, yeah? Yep. All right, so this will be the leadership check for the possessed rat. So if you if you can Four make or it, or under, yeah. <gasps> nah. All right, so time to move the rat. All 
All right, so that's the wrap. So we're gonna do the charges, I guess now. So that's those two giant rats. So this one over here, charging at the guy. Four or under. That's a yeah, five. Oh, that's close. Next, right along. No, that's a fail. So they just stand there, I presume? No, they move halfway. Because <laughs> these big freaking. Oh, I see away. those. Yeah, okay, those giant yeah. rats. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, now it's just regular movement and shooting, yes? Yeah. These guys are just going to come in and reshuffle and these spear guys if they don't fall over, which they've done. I can't watch. <laughs> This is like that scene in Sorcerer, <laughs> just with, well, thankfully without the nitroglycerin. Hey, is that rain? Yeah, it is. Oh, it feels like it. Ranger! Oh, I found his spear. Hey, you beauty. Nice one. It's so hard to spot anything small on this kind of patterned surface. Okay, there we go. All right, so continuing on the regular movement, we've got old, Shovel, what's his name? Grovel. Grovel and Runt. Shooting phase. We'll start with this guy down here. He has got... So that'll be Runt. Yeah, Runt, he's got ballistic skill three, range 18. So it's not within half range, so move and long range, no cover. We're looking at... And he's shooting sixes. at the guy with chaos armor, right? So, all right, so this is uh, Runt shooting at Scar. Scar. Runt has ballistic skill three, so base four. Yeah, four Movement plus. long range, so yep. six. No. Nope. Next guy along is Grovel. Same deal. Shooting the same guy. Same guy. Movement long range. Yep. So six. Yep. Oh, wow. Hit. He got it. Does he have a um, lucky charm? Uh, no. Okay. So... Strength three. Chaos armor. Yep. So strength three, toughness. Toughness three. Four plus. That's a five, so that's a wound. That's a wound, but you got chaos armor, so make your rolls. Four plus. Four plus. Oh no, uh, chaos does not pay so off. So he suffers a wound. That's a wound. Is there multiple wound? One, only one wound. So roll to see what happens. Okay, so he's knocked down, and so we make an initiative <laughs> check. See if he falls. Yep. yep. <laughs> Three. Yeah, he made it. So he just falls down and nothing bad happens? No, he doesn't fall down. Blink has ballistic skill three, so base four, minus one for long range, so five to hit. Yep. Nope. Next guy along is Physic. Exact same deal. Mm -hmm. Same ballistic skill. No, his ballistic skill went up. Yep, ballistic skill four. So he's going for a four. Yep. That's a hit. Wow. That's a crit. It's a four on the crit table. Missile weapon three to four is a ricochet. If there are any other models within six inches, the closest enemy model is also hit. Roll to wound and take any sames as normal. Well, is the beast man closer than the guy on the ground? I'd say they're equidistant. They're equidistant, and the guy. I will let you pick, Barra. So, do you want it? Do you want Beastman to take the hit or guy on the ground? Well, the Beastman has multiple wounds, so you yeah. you want the guy on the ground. Yes, I do. <laughs> Beastman take hit. Well, it's a ricochet, so roll. Well, you get to if choose one, technically. One to three. Yeah. Okay, do yeah. I get to choose? Well, if they're equidistant. Okay, well then, got the guy on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's he's already hit, so it's just roll to wound. So, four Is plus, it? yeah. Oh. Roll to wound. No. It's fine. No one's wounded. So, guy in the middle is wounded. So, roll in. Roll to wound to see what happens. It's out of action. And who's that? Guy in the middle. Oh, yes. wow, the Dark Soul. Yeah. Blistrot. I have to shoot the Beast Man. Yep. It's definitely within range. No movement. Long range, 
ballistic skill four. So that'll be a four. Four plus a game. Yep. No. Oh, snake eyes again. That's it for shooting? That's it for shooting. All right, so hand to hand. This is one of the rats fighting. Giant rat, four plus to hit. That's a hit. This is against the Dark Soul. Dark Soul around the corner. Oh yeah, Flail Storm. So strength three, toughness three. So we're looking for a four plus again. No. No. No dice. And he fights back. No. No, that's it. All right, so possessed. First of all is recovery phase. Stand up. So our little mate Scar with the Chaos Armor will get up. As right, so charges are declared now. So first okay. of all, we've got old purple there. On that right? Yep. And so just the... scooch him forward a little bit. It, there's too much yeah, shit in the way. Good enough. Yeah. If you want, I can just move the rat closer. But I know that that's uh, not... I, well, nah, that's in the way, so that's fine. Really all right, and then blue. And then this guy. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that's... You're gonna need uh, blue tack, yeah, because that shit's gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> Is that good? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was. Get over here. Yeah, let's get some tack out. Okay, we'll tack everyone in place. All right, so after some fart assing around, Blue here, Crab Salute has charged these two rats. We will still attack first because they have spears. Indeed. And then Old Purple, Octopus Jewel, has attacked. Well, would that, would that be those two rats as well? I guess it would be. Yeah, I would say it's both of those rats. I mean, technically he should be forward, but this is in the way and yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, and then just regular movement, if any. So you got these two. Yeah. So yeah, Scar got up after recovery, so he can only move normal. All right, so shooting phase. Pope Pestilence is going to cast his Lure of Chaos spell, needing a, what, 10, Nine. was it? Nine. Ah, oh, just short. Damn it. Oh, well. Well, that's shooting then. Uh, on to hand-to-hand. -hand. First things first is the fear checks, am I right? So this will be psychology check. So make a fear check for bite, needing what? Five or less. Five or less. Horrible. Bite, five or less. Nope. No. So he afraid. only hits on six. Other guy is squat. Five or less. That's a five. That's a five. Squat's fine. It. Cool. Cool. That's very unexpected. Alrighty. So now we do spears. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do squat first. Mm -hmm. He's got bliss uh, weapon skill three versus weapon skill of four, right? Or five. Weapon Either way, it'll be a four plus. Four. Okay. Four plus. Four plus. Nope. nope. The other one needs a six. The other one needs a six. Does it still go in the same turn order? Yeah. Right. Yep. He oh, hits. wow. The feared guy. Quite <laughs> hits. He digs deep. So strength three, toughness Wait a minute. four. Does he have a... Toughness four. Does he have a lucky charm? Uh, no. Okay. Wow. So five to wound. That's a crit. Holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> That's a six oh on the crit. Oh my God. Far out, bite. Settle down. So, thrusting weapon six, kebab. Thrust knocks the target back with titanic force, ripping apart armor and puncturing flesh. The attack ignores armor saves and you gain plus two to any injury rolls. Victim is knocked backwards D6 and the attacker follows, staying in base contact. Any other models involved in combat are separated and only the model which struck the blow and his target are still considered to be in combat. If the target collides with another model. It's still only one wound though, right? No, only one wound. Yeah. Plus so, two to injury rolls, though. Yeah, but, but he doesn't not, matter. It doesn't matter. He's still got, what, another wound? Yeah, he's two wounds. All right, so roll d6 to see how far he pushes him back. So he, Four. It just goes into the he, wall. He moves along with him. All right, so he's skewered to the wall, but he's still fighting okay. as he has extra wounds. So, yeah, he'll get his attacks. And he's got strength five. Unfortunately. Oh, Jesus. Well, you've got to hit first. Yeah, yeah that's, that's two hits. classic that's two Barra. Hits. Jesus Christ. Swinging like a man. Uh, man. Toughness three, strength five. Is that two plus? Uh, what is it? Strength five. five. Five versus toughness three. Yeah. Yep. Two, two wounds. wounds. Does he have a shield? He does. All right. Strength five is yeah. minus one, so he ignores the shield. Oh. 
it's just too strong. So two wounds. Yeah, two wounds. Non non critical. Non critical. Stunned and stunned. stunned. So he's stunned. So he's face down. So that's cool. I kind of imagine his spear still like stuck in that dude. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then purple, purple, right? Yep. Yep. So I got to do fear checks for the rats. Go for it. Uh, four or less. So first rat. Left to right, my perspective. So left. Nope. And then right. Hey. <laughs> wow. Yay! Rats Second rats, rats fine. Rats Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um. Oh, he charged, so he gets to do the attack. Yeah. And he gets that extra attack. Remember? Yeah. He's got two there, so yep. one more dose. So three attacks. Mm. I'm guessing hitting at threes. Before you oh, attack, you pick who four. you're attacking. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, you... so I'll just go, yeah. The, n- the non-afraid one? And, yeah. The non-afraid one and then the afraid one. So if... Because I can... If well, I... How many? But how do, many? Yeah, because yeah, you got three, not two. <laughs> we need so specifics. Like two... Oh. Like okay, you... so I guess two attacks on the non-afraid and one attack on the afraid. Okay. So... so the do... two on the non first. Alright, uh, so that's one, one hit. And then one roll hit. to wound will be I'm guessing what, three plus? Yeah, it's a wound. Yep. Stunned. Stunned. Make an initiative. And All right. there's one more so on he the falls frame. down. So move him down somewhere. <laughs> Plop. Falls off the platform. Yep. Does he He's get stunned? Long? So you get D3, strength three hits. Two. So two. So four pluses. Two wounds. Two wounds. Stunned. stunned. Still stunned. Yep. So Jesus just Christ. die, rat. You must. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So the next one gets one attack yeah, at him. One attack. Can you kill the rat, please? Hey, that's a hit. That's, that's a crit. crit. Yeah, there we go. Roll again. Roll again. Three. three. On Three unarmed. on the unarmed crit. Crushing blow, again plus one to the injury roll. If your opponent fails his save, he doesn't have armor, so plus one to injury roll, normal wound. So surely this will do it. Surely. Watch him roll a one. Yep. Stunned. Stunned. Initiative check. Yep. Made it. Fine. Okay. <laughs> just die! I just love how you're barracking for them to die. All right, so the final battle for this turn for the possessed is the Dark Soul. Is it Flail Storm? Flail Storm. Against one of the giant rats. So rats first. Attack rat. Uh, that's a miss. And then Flail Storm needs a four. That's, that's a, a hit. hit. Yeah, so that'll be a two plus to wound. Yep, so that's a wound. Yay! Out of action. Yes. So with that, I'm guessing... Beginning of your turn, you're going to route voluntarily? Um, yeah. 10 seconds to think about it. You, you know you want to. Mind. I do want to, but I reckon I can do some damage to him. But I don't think it's worth it. Nah, man, run away. Cause... I wouldn't mind also winning. I would like to win, but there's so much... F- the, the fear. <laughs> well, his possessed. If left unchecked, they're just going to tear you a new one. Yeah, so I'm going to run away. Yeah. So... Good game, Barra. Congrats on the win. Well done, boys. That was just terrifying because of the minis constantly <laughs> threatening or actually falling. Yeah, Jesus Christ. So, yeah. On to the post-game. And so, a bit of a nail-biter there. If not for anything else, mainly because of the minis all stacked on that tower very precariously, which off-camera, as you found out, I, of all people, who's normally the most careful around these sorts of miniatures, actually knocked everything over into a great big pile. Oh well. Well, on to injuries. Unfortunately for both players, all the knocked out characters actually died. So that's both rats and flail storm. With that out of the way, we move on to advanced rolls. So Pope Pestilence actually gained a new spell, Dark Blood, which will be interesting, I think. Crab Salute, one of the possessed, gained an extra wound. Octopustule, the other possessed, gained an extra point of weapon skill. And as far as the cult's henchmen, only Dark Maul received an advanced roll, which was an extra point of strength. As far as the Skaven go, the leader Blistrot gained the resilient skill, 
making him much tougher in hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. While Runt learnt the scale sheer surfaces skill, as did Grovel, who actually got two advanced rolls. With the second one being yet another skill, being Eagle Eyes for extra range. And last but not least, we've got Blink gaining a point of leadership. And moving on to the exploration phase, the Possessed managed to scrape together four shards of Weird Stone and happen across a straggler who, unfortunately for him, gets sacrificed to the Shadow Lord, which grants the leader an extra point of experience. Barrow decides to sell all four shards for a total of 70 gold pieces. As for the rather sizable Skaven Warband, they manage to scrape together three shards of Weird Stone and happen across an abandoned tavern. Inside, presumably in the basement or the cellar, they find barrels upon barrels of ale, unspoilt. So what happens is the leader must make a leadership test to collect all of them, otherwise the warband gets stuck in and that's exactly what happens. Those furry little Skaven sure like their drink it seems. So in the end he only managed to scrape together an extra four gold pieces worth of beer or ale to sell. So after wetting their whiskers, the Skaven warband merrily stumble back down into the tunnels where sometime later they manage to sell five shards for a total of 70 gold pieces. Now neither of these warbands decide to visit any of the crazy cities such as Cutthroat's Den or Sigma Haven because well let's face it, it seems to be more trouble than it's worth and I think people are starting to get attached to their warbands. So, having said that, that's the end of the session. Thanks for watching and as usual, subscribe, like, share if you can and maybe even consider becoming a patron of the channel. Until next time, take care and farewell.